Well, welcome back. There's no harder place to tone up than those saggy bits under the arms. But now there are new treatments that promise to fix the dreaded bingo wings, making sure that when you stop waving, so does the skin under your arms. You really do notice that they do begin to sag. From gruelling exercise... <laughs> you know it's good for you, so you just push through it. <laughs> ..to cosmetic surgery. Generally, the excision will extend from just inside the elbow up to the arm. Many women will do just about anything to wave goodbye to what they call tuck shop arms. We offer a more affordable, safer alternative to the cosmetic surgery. Ultrasound is one of the latest fat blasting tools in the fight against that dreaded loose skin. How was that? How was it feeling, mate? It feels really relaxing. Jacinta Casey is from the MEI Body Sculpting and Anti-Aging Clinic. After one treatment with our ultrasound technology, they would definitely lose anywhere between one to five centimetres. The ultrasound's waves promise to penetrate the skin's surface, melting down stubborn fat deposits. Actor Paula Duncan is relying on this tricep trimming technology to whip her arms back into shape. I'm certain that I will take some centimetres off my arms and I'd like to see the same happen with my thighs. If the problem with the upper arm is it's just too big and the skin has good elasticity, then removing some of the subcutaneous tissue, which we would do with liposuction, will in fact improve the situation. Dr Scott Ingram says as we get older, our muscles shrink and we lose elasticity in our skin. These before and after photos show the dramatic results of a surgical arm lift. Brachioplasty is a procedure that involves excision of a wedge of skin and subcutaneous tissue from the inner aspect of the arm. It's just almost like someone is very lightly massaging your arms. Hairdresser Carol Haddard is opting for a non-invasive light-based therapy. It claims to help tighten your triceps by heating deep layers of the skin. Any dress, any strapless dress, we all know this is our sore point for a woman. So this exercise is targeting our triceps, the absolute bread and butter exercise. These active mums know all about the trials and tribulations of losing that unwanted arm fat. After the birth of my second child, I just sort of noticed that I tended to have more of a sort of sag there and it's just wobbled more when I moved. So I found um, losing your arm, um, the tuck shop arms, harder than any other spot in your body. Personal trainer and mum of two, Kate Beely, has some of the best arms around. Her secret, a combination of strength exercises, starting with tricep push-ups. OK, so like a push-up, good, but keeping your arms nice and tight to your body. Boxing is another surefire way to tone up those wobbly triceps. Great for all of your arm, both front and back. If you don't have a sparring partner, raid the pantry for cans of tin tomatoes. Next, tricep extensions. You'll need a small dumbbell or a medium-sized water bottle. All right, and we're just going to pump it to the sky. And finally, tricep dips. And like with all of these exercises, aim for three sets of 15 reps. Remember to drive with your arms, ladies. Don't use your legs. It took six weeks for school teacher Kate Johnson's triceps to look trim and terrific. I lost 36 centimetres off my body in total and about three centimetres off my arms. So whether it's going under the knife... The problem is a balance between the amount of tissue and the elasticity of the skin. Or slogging it out with exercise. The best way to really tone up those problem areas is to make sure that you are chopping and changing what you're doing and that you're not just doing the same exercise day in and day out. You can get rid of what Paula Duncan calls her bingo wings. I don't think I'll ever be body beautiful or anything like that. I just think that I will be me and a slimmer me and a more healthy looking me. It is a tricky spot.